So I'm sure you will agree the Maserati looks stunning. The vehicle has been here for the uh, the white detail, uh, a six day treatment. Today is actually day seven, just I had social commitments last night. And rather than rush that last sort of 5%, I wanted to take my time uh, today, so I've come in for three hours, three, four hours today to finalize and finish off. The white detail, which is my gold package, my sort of piece de resistance, uh, is a major paint correction, which is a mortar station machine polish delivering paintwork perfection, or sort of 90 to 95. Uh, percent correction where possible, where safe to do so. You may have seen in the after footage there are sort of deeper marks and abrasions and blemishes and previous touch ups and scars. It's had a lot of paint in its time. So, as the detailer, it's sort of one that you just do the best you can you comfortably do uh, with what you've been given without sort of sending the majority of the car for fresh paint work, etc. As well as the major paint correction, it's had full interior treatments to the uh, leather and fabric treatments. The engine bay has been cleansed and fully flushed. The wheels have been removed off the vehicle to be treated inside and out. The wheels, in fact, had a lot of wheel residue glue remaining from the wheel weights, from the wheels of balance, the glue that's left behind. Uh, I found a nice little trick and a bit of a tip for the wheel weight glue removal, uh, which I might talk about in the text down below, if not in a future video. With the wheels cleansed and free of glue and tar and brake pitting, they were sealed up as well as sort of the brake calipers and the exhaust tips uh, and everything else. So the vehicle's leaving with multi-layer paint protection, glass, fabric, leather, trim, the uh, front grills, bits of bobs, all the chrome work, the badges, the lights have all been cleansed and sort of polished up to eliminate tarnishing and oxidation. But the vehicle will be picked up on a covered transporter and headed back overseas. The vehicle has been, it's been a bit of a journey to get the car to white details, but it leaves now and hopefully one very happy owner. What I'm not able to do is take the odor around the vehicle now here, finished in its current final state under the lights where it looks incredible. It will come into its own again in the sunlight, which I'm hopefully gonna get some after footage outside. If it's bright, if not, stay inside and keep the dust off. This episode literally is uh, the final results, the finished results of the Maserati for the customer's benefit and sort of just to show you, you guys uh, some some bits around the car. Didn't have time this week to do a sort of 30, 35, 40 minute vlog episode. Um, going forward, I've got a few ideas and there's also quite a few things going on behind the scenes. One or two of you may have picked up clues and hints to that already, uh, judging by the comments. Back in routine and back in action at some point in the next couple of weeks. The diary, the diary is not looking great. I appreciate the support and I want to get in as much as I possibly can where I can. Uh, I've not publicly announced sort of the availability for a while. I've got lots of sort of trusted referrals and people in the network I can pass jobs on to. So I'm still getting the, the emails and the phone calls to say, hi, Jim, I'm picking a new car up next weekend, the weekend after. Can you fit it in? It's, it's not possible. The earlier these appointments are booked, the better. But as of today, which I think is the 21st of May, my diary is into, I've got very limited availability left in December, and then it's January 2018. But, as I say, various things going on in the background of white details currently, so one to watch for, and uh, perhaps time will tell. Next week going forward, uh, the last week in May, I have two new car preps. Next door, there is a, an M140i BMW. Um, but I will be back on next time with a bit of a Q&A. There's lots of questions building up what I want to get back to. Some good questions coming through. Also, by the way, if you, in the last episode, I spoke about these Sony headphones, the MDR 770s, I believe noise cancelling headphones. Three people, I think, yeah, three people have been on to buy the headphones off the back of my recommendation. I know that because if you use the links down below in the description, it's an Amazon affiliate link, so it's connected to my White Details account. So it'd be great to hear some feedback from those. Of so it'll be great to hear some feedback from those that have bought the Sonys. I'm loving them very much so, really impressed still. If anything, just making the days and the long hours more comfortable. So I'm gonna rattle around the car now and grab the after footage that you've just seen. I haven't yet recorded that, I'm about to. It's all planned out in the head, don't worry. But yeah, lots of things going on in the background. I'll do what I can, where I can for updates in the coming weeks. Thank you again for the support, appreciate it as always. Do check out Instagram and Facebook, especially Instagram, the sort of daily insights and behind the scenes action happening there. Uh, I think that was it. Nice, cool. Take care, speak soon. Bit of a late start today. Been in town to have my ears lowered. Sharper haircut, fluffy at the minute.
my favourite deliveries, Endelbert Strauss. The new workwear. Let's have a look. New polo shirts. The reason I'm doing this, I <coughs> the majority of what I'm wearing is the same in like every other video. So the grey Engelbert shirt and the, the plummy red Engelbert shirt. So we have a couple more variants. And we have some new work boots. Although these have served me well, they're on the last legs, still toes, but the insides, the the plastic or the steel. There's a bit uncomfortableness going on down there. I'll still wear this for the time being, but for the nicer jobs. Look at them, fresh, <laughs> like moon boots. Well, I'm not sure about them. They look massive. A lot better in the picture, to be honest, but give them a go. Good, so I should wear I should wear these for the rest of the day, see how they feel. But next up really smart, nice fitting. This is actually a small. Uh, I am slim, quite broad on the shoulders. Fits really nice, quality workwear, so yeah, recommended stuff.